This tutorial is going to show you how to use Visual Building to create a fire escape plan. First we will create a new project and set the scale to 1 to 100. And resize the screen and show all. Now we're going to open the fire escape catalog. It's a standard A3 template. And I'm going to get rid of the environment because I don't need this. And create a new layer and call that template. So I'm going to now move my template from the floor to the new layer template that I've just created. And you can see I have now two layers, one called floor plan, one called template, and the template is now located in the template layer. I'm now going to plan out my building. I use guidelines to give me an approximation of my building size. In this case, I'm going to make it 20 meters. And I'll have a quite a boring building in this case. I'll make it also 20 meters deep. And now to replace the external wall. And the wall is snapping to the guidelines. I'm now going to repeat the wall placement process, but for the internal walls, we don't need to use guidelines, as you can also draw the walls freehand. Note, as we create each room, the room name appears, and we will delete that later because we don't need the uh, room name identity to be shown in our plan. That's the internal rooms and walls completed, and now we're going to add some doors. Now select a door from the door catalog, and click at each position on a wall where you want to position a door. I'm now going to remove the room names from my plan. And now to add some windows, which are placed in a similar way to the doors. Right, so I'm now going to go back to the catalogue and I'm going to find some arrows for my route directions. A uh, standard set of arrows which I select and then just position. I'm actually snapping the arrows to the grid, but I can place them freely or snap to guidelines if I wish. I'm now going to identify escape route areas, and for this I'll go back into my catalogue, 
where I've got some prepared uh, area colours. You'll notice that since I placed my arrows down first, my areas are actually on top of the arrows. To rectify this, I can use the layer control. I'm now going to go back into the catalog and find some fire equipment. Uh, in this case I'm going to place my location of my fire extinguishers. Just position and click. And we'll put some fire blankets in. to adjust my layer control again. And I can now also add uh, additional areas You can follow your own colour code system for this. Again, placing the blue area on top is under the red, so I can bring that forward. And I can now add a legend to my plan. You can create your own legend boxes, uh, very simple to do, they're just lines and you just use one group and then save your legend box back into the catalogue. I'm actually snapping to the grid here. And I'll put an arrow in here. Again, I'm snapping to the grid, so I'll disable my snap so I've got ability to position wherever I wish. And fire equipment. Let's add some text. Escape routes. And change the font size. Reposition the text. I could of course put all my different symbols on different layers so I can have equipment on one layer, I, I can have the uh, arrows on another layer, 
but at the moment we've got everything bar the template on a single layer. Well that completes this tutorial. Not a very realistic um, plan, but uh, it does demonstrate how you can very quickly and simply produce a plan and add the various symbols.